while he was zealous for my sake among them, mm -hmm. that I consumed not the children of Israel in my jealousy. Right, so, so the Lord wasn't killing. Once he saw that, if they had not killed, if it didn't do what it did, the Lord, he still might have been killing himself. All right, go ahead. 12. Yeah. Wherefore say, behold, I give unto him my covenant of peace. That's right. And he shall have it, and his seed after him, even the covenant of an everlasting priesthood, because he was zealous for his God, That's right. and made an atonement for the children of Israel. That's right. He made an atonement for the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. well, had he not, the Lord may not have been through. Right? Mm -hmm. Keep going. Go ahead. Now the name of the Israelite that was slain, even that was slain with the Midianitish woman, was Zim Zimri, mm -hmm. the son of Salu, right. a prince of a chief. House among the Simeonites. Okay, go ahead. And the name of the Midianitish woman that was slain was Cosby, the daughter of Zer. He was head over a people in a chief house in Midian. Right. And right. the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, right. Vex the Midianites and smite them. Uh, so far they ain't true, huh? Vex the Midianites and smite them. Go ahead. For they vex you with their wa with their wives, mm -hmm. wherewith they have beguiled you in the matter of Peor. Mm -hmm. And in the sea. In a matter of the, and, and call him to bow down and sit every day of yours. Go ahead. And in the matter of Cosby, mm -hmm. the daughter of the Prince of Midian, their sister, which was slain in the day of the plague for Peor's sake. That's right, so he killed the Midianites too. Mm -hmm. The Lord won't play no games about this idolatry. And he's still not playing no games. Let's go get another look at it some years and years and years later. Let's go to Ezekiel, the H chapter. The Lord gonna show Ezekiel visions. Remember, he know what's in your heart, your mind. He know what you're thinking. You can't fool him. No matter how hard you try, you can't get over him. You can't fool him. You can't get past him, under him, or around him. Only way you got to deal with this guy, you got to go through him, through that narrow gate. Ezekiel 8, child, according to the scripture, verse 1. And it came to pass in the sixth year, mm -hmm. in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I said in mine house, and the elders of Judah said before me, that the hand of the Lord God fell there upon me. Okay, so you got Ezekiel sitting in this house, you got the elders of Judah, they come and they sit before Ezekiel, right? Drop down to verse 3. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. And he put forth the form of a hand. Right, so the Lord, the Lord was upon him. The Spirit was upon his ear. And he put forth the form of a hand. Go ahead. And took me by a lock of mine head. Mm -hmm. And the Spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven. Mm -hmm. And brought me in the, in the visions of God to Jerusalem. Right, so the Lord just basically he let Ezekiel see what he was seeing from his point of view. Right? Mm -hmm. He's going to show him what's in these people's mind and his heart. Go ahead. To the door of the inner gate. Then looking toward the north, where right. was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoked it to jealousy. Right. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel was there, according to the vision that I saw in the plain. Mm -hmm. Then said he unto me, he Son of man, what you want me to do, Lord? lift up thine eyes now the way towards the north. Mm -hmm. So I lift up mine eyes the way toward the north, and behold, northward at the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy in the entry. Oh, the image? Mm -hmm. Of jealousy. Right? This is set up in, in, in the altar. In, in the north gate, right? This is in the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. They done got so bold, they've been going back for so long, they done put the image in the house of God. Go ahead. Verse 6. Yeah. He said, Furthermore to me, what? son of man, mm -hmm. seest thou what they do? Do you see what they do, son of man? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Even the great abominations that the house of Israel committed here. Right. You see these great abominations they committed here, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Then I should go for all from my sanctuary. I mean, this abomination so great it made me want to leave, leave my house. Mm -hmm. Right. Go ahead. But turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. And he brought me to the door of the court. Right. And when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. Then said he unto me, right. Son of man, right. dig down the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, Go in. Right. And behold, the wicked abominations that they do here. Right. Well, I look. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts, and all the idols of the house of Israel 
portrayed upon the wall round about. Did he tell us not to do this? Mm -hmm. And Faith said, when you go in a land to possess their land that I give you, I want you to tear down their pictures off the wall. I don't want you to make no images of nothing, no creepy thing, no foul, no stars, not even the likeness of a man. I don't want you to do none of this. And then you got Israel, of course, didn't listen. All right, and they said of all of these abominations, even in the house of the Lord. Go ahead and read. Verse 11. Mm -hmm. And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel. Right, 70 men of the ancients, those are the elders, right? Mm -hmm. Of the house of Israel. Go ahead. And in the midst of them stood Jezaniah, mm -hmm. the son of Shaphan. Right. With every man his censer in his hand. Right, censer, that's, that, that represents the prayers. Supposedly prayers of the saints. But these guys was committing idolatry. Ain't no way they could be saints, but go ahead and read. And a thick cloud of incense went up. Uh -huh. Then said he unto me, What do you say? Son of man. Right. Has thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? They doing that in the dark, thinking nobody see. But the Lord see. Go ahead. Every man in the chambers of his imagery. In his image, go ahead, his imagination, go ahead. For they say, mm -hmm. the Lord see it, see it does not. Right, this is what they're saying in their imagination. Lord don't even see us. Right? This is what you say in your imagination. When you commit idolatry, the Lord ain't even see. He can't, he can't even see. Go ahead. The Lord had forsaken the earth. The Lord ain't even worried about what's going on down here. This is what's going on in their mind. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. He said also unto me, mm -hmm. Turn thee yet again. But oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> Go ahead. And thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. I am what? Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, mm -hmm. which was toward the north. All right, so like he said, remember, we steady in the Lord's house, mm -hmm. towards the north. What happened? And behold, there said women weeping for Tammuz. So women weeping for Tammuz. Tammuz is a false god. Supposed to be the greatest son ever born. Son of Semiramis, right? That's, that's where the cross come from, the T in his name. Mm -hmm. T for Tammu, that's where the, that's where the uh, image of the cross come from. That's why the Lord tell you don't make no images. You make your images, you're wearing them on your chest, and you don't even know where it come from. Mm -hmm. So you got women weeping for Tammu, and the Lord said, this is a great church abomination. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 15. Yeah. Then said he unto me, mm -hmm. Has thou seen this, O son of man? Have you seen it, O son of man? Right, go ahead. Turn thee yet again. Some more? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And thou shalt see greater abominations that th than these. I, I just can't believe all of these abominations. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody even saying that, trying to correct. They, they lift off the judgment, which you were supposed to be the first one to execute once you saw this going on. All right. Mm -hmm. What's the great abomination? 16. Mm -hmm. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house. Right. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men with their back toward the temple of the Lord. So you got twenty-five men with their back toward the Lord's temple. Doing what? And their faces toward the east. Their face toward the east? And they worship the sun towards the east. That's how he said don't do that. The instructions was clear. They were. But you know where they got this from? The inhabitants of the land. Mm -hmm. The other nations. And they gonna come call themselves serving God after the manner of the other nations, how they serve their God. But the Lord told us do not do it like this. You keep my law, statutes, and commandments. But they disregarded it. They praying toward the east, but they back to the Lord's temple. And they worship the sun. Mm -hmm. And people still doing it to this day, yes. You know what they call it? Sunday worship. Sun worship, that's all 